Hey there, it's Andrea Nguyen, cookbook author of Vietnamese Food Any Day. I'm at the Lin Hall in Minneapolis, and we just finished making one of my all-time favorite dishes, bun xèo, which are called sizzling rice crates because they actually sizzle when you pour the batter into the skillet. And they're super easy to make, and they're one of my favorite Southern Vietnamese dishes. I used to have to go to an Asian market to get a special rice flour from Thailand to make these crepes or I would like even soak my own rice and grind it. But I wanted to find a really simple solution for people to make these rice crepes whenever they want and from wherever they live. And so this recipe uses regular supermarket ingredients. So let's go make some. What we're gonna make now is the batter for sizzling rice crepes. So make sure that you've done the other advanced prep stuff like washing, you know, lettuce and herbs and all that, have it in your fridge, make your nook jam. Now you're ready to make the rice flour batter. I like to use um, just regular stone ground rice flour from the supermarket. Flour made from grains of rice that have just been ground up. They've not been soaked like I just mentioned. So that's the foundation for the batter. You've also got about a tablespoon of cornstarch. You've got a little salt and a little turmeric. Now that you've got your batter ingredients in here, the dry ingredients, you're going to add the wet ingredients. So what I do is I've got about three quarter cups of tepid water, and then I'm going to add to it some very, very hot water that I just boiled. And I've got three quarter cups, and then I'm gonna bring that up with another three quarter cups to one and a half cups. Put your bowl on top of something sturdy so that it doesn't move. And then start whisking this in. And what the hot water does is that it's going to soften the grains of rice flour. Whisk that really well until it becomes like a light golden color from the turmeric, and then we're going to add coconut milk. Make sure you stir, whisk, or shake that coconut milk up to, to make sure that whatever cream that may be in the can is completely incorporated. And use full fat, unsweetened coconut milk. Do not use the stuff that you would use for a cocktail and do not use light coconut milk because it's got stuff in it um, that, you know, you really don't need in your body. All right, so there's the batter, and then you can just let that sit covered in plastic wrap um, if you're going to let it sit for a lot longer than say, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. When you're ready to go the day that you're going to make the crepes, what you wanna do is a little trick that I've learned over the years. Separate the filling into portions so that you can just dump them into the skillet as you're making up your crepes. So I'm going to make six little portions. Let's separate our pork into little piles. This is something that's really terrific to do if you've got like some kids and help them, you know, learn eyeball ingredients and um, don't make them into like a meatball or anything. You wanna keep things a little bit loose. And then our shrimp. So it's about four shrimp per pile. This is a great setup if you're going to be making these crepes for a brunch because you can set it up and then show people how to make sizzling rice crepes and then let them go to town on it themselves. There we go. The filling is ready to go. You can set this in the fridge for a while, cover it up if you're going to do that, or just let it hang out by the stove, and then we're ready to make sizzling crepes. You wanna use a nonstick skillet. That could be um, Teflon, it could be a scan pan, a green pan. I love carbon steel as well. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't stick because you gotta get that rice off. Let's have it on medium-high heat, add a little bit of oil, two to three teaspoons, and then now we'll just let it heat up until it's nice 
and shimmering. Meanwhile, make sure you've got your filling ready, portion nearby, um, also the bean sprouts. I like to wash my bean sprouts um, well ahead of time and let them dry so that you know there's less moisture. If you can't get bean sprouts, take a look at the recipe because there are substitutes. So this is getting nice and hot. And so, you know, you're looking for oil that's kind of shimmery a little bit. So I'm going to take up a portion of the filling, dump it in, and now get a spatula and just start kind of pressing on the meat to break it up into small pieces. You're now stir frying these ingredients, these filling ingredients, so that they get a nice searing. The cool thing about sizzling rice crepes is that this actually is adding to the flavor component of the crepe. You are not cooking the filling up beforehand and putting it inside. The filling actually gets kind of stuck to the crepe. And so it really, really ends up being part of the flavor of the crepe as well as the texture of the crepe. And now what you're seeing me do is separating the filling into two halves because at the end of the line I'm going to be pouring the batter in and folding it up so I don't want anything right in the middle here. So once that's going let's make sure our batter is nicely stirred up. No drag on that batter, about a third of a cup. That sizzling sound is what we say in Vietnamese is the sao of bánh sao. And that's what we're looking for. Plus those little dimples. I've got a little kind of bald spot there. I'm just gonna add a little batter in there to fix it. All right, once that I've got that going, add a handful of bean sprouts to one side, like so. And I'm now going to put a lid on it. And I put my lid slightly ajar. This is a super, super tight lid. If I have the lid on too tight, there's too much condensation going on inside. The skillet is going to go right back down into the crepe and we don't want that. So just slide it off hand a little bit. And this little hole here, it isn't enough for ventilation. So I'm just gonna hedge my bed a little bit. Turn down the heat slightly. So when you're making sizzling crepes, what you're doing is you are starting at medium high and then you're kind of slowly decreasing a little bit of the heat to make sure that the rice batter cooks. We're also looking to cook all of the filling ingredients um, to finish cooking them and also to kind of soften the bean sprouts a tiny bit. So this is gonna take a few minutes. Make sure that you give it plenty of time to cook. A lot of times people um, kind of hasten up the cooking process a little bit too much and they don't get as crispy as you really want them to be. When is it ready for you to take off the lid? When the bean sprouts have softened a little bit. And at this point, you can add just a touch of oil to the edge because what we're looking to do is to fry the crepe up a little bit more. So the process that you went through to make these crepes, I describe it as fry, steam, fry. First we fried off the um, filling ingredients and then we added the batter and then we lowered the heat and put the lid on to steam. And now what we're doing is we are finishing off um, everything with a little bit of frying so that crisps up the bottom of the crepe and makes it really like crunchy and extra delicious. And this takes a few minutes. So adjust the heat accordingly. You may have to go up or down. But what you're looking for is the edges to really peel off nicely. For example, like right here. And I'm just going to wait a few more minutes for that all to happen all the way around the edge. So this guy's ready to come off heat. And everything's nicely brown on the edge. So I'm just going to slide my spatula underneath there and fold it over. Gorgeous, yay. And you are ready to go ahead and put it on a plate. Here we go, everybody. We have made our sizzling rice crepes, bun sao in Vietnamese. And so what we're going to do is serve it up with the lettuce and herbs garnishes that are mentioned in the recipe. We've also got the um, 
nook jam dipping sauce that we made earlier. Portion out into a small little um, dipping sauce bowl for each person. The rice crepe is here and we're ready to go eat. Now this is a all hands on deck kind of meal. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a pair of scissors. Um, kitchen shears, even craft shears, like these little cuties will work. And you're just going to cut right into it and cut a little piece that is going to be a nice bite-sized piece. Put it into the um, lettuce, add some herb leaves that you tear into smaller pieces if you want to, then dunk and then eat. If you've never made Vietnamese rice crepes before, it'll seem kind of like challenging, but that's with any recipe, right? Just remember that you can break it down in stages like I mentioned in the video. And you can find the full recipe at splendidtable.org as well as in my book, Vietnamese Food Any Day.